Hey, I just found my favorite place to read in my place, in my space that I live in. It's the corner of my couch. I have all these fluffy pillows and I have my favorite snuggle blanket. Can I read you guys a story? It's actually a story that reminds me of one of my partner teachers. It says, let's go froggy. It's all about this silly froggy and he always is doing things that gets him a little embarrassed. Let's see what happens. Oh look, I see the title, Let's Go Froggy. And the author is Jonathan London. He's the person that wrote the story. And the illustrator is Frank, hmm, I'm not really sure how to say his last name. Sometimes names are hard. On the back cover, let's check it out. It says Froggy is going on a bike trip and a picnic with his daddy. He, will he ever find all the things he needs? Oh my goodness. It looks like he needs some fly swatter. And it looks like his coffee is spilling. And do you remember what the part of the book is called that holds the pages together? That's right, it's the spine. Let's open up the front cover. Let's go, Froggy. Oh, I see the title again. The author and the illustrator. That tells me it is called the title page. Let's get reading. Oh, my snuggle blanket. It was warm. Froggy woke up and looked out the window. Birds, butterflies, flowers. Hooray! Sang Froggy, I want to go outside and play. Look at him checking out that window. I see the butterfly. Do you? Okay, said his father. How about a bike trip and a picnic? Would you like that? Yes, cried Froggy. Let's go. First, you have to get ready. Silly said his father. Okay, said Froggy. I'm getting ready. Oh goodness, it looks like Froggy's dad's yelling from, what's this area called? Maybe the dining room? So Froggy got dressed. He put on his zip, pulled up his shorts, zip, put on his socks, zip, and pulled on his sneakers, zip. And then he buttoned up his shirt. Zip, 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 zip. Do you know how to get dressed by yourself without any help? Froggy called his father. Let's go. I'm ready, yelled Froggy. And he flopped out to show him. Blop, 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 blop. Look how excited he is to show his dad. But Froggy, said his father, you need your bike helmet. I don't know where that is, said Froggy. It's where you left it. I forgot. You have to go look for it. So Froggy looked for his helmet. Bloop, bloop, bloop. He looked under the sink. Boink. Oh no. He hit his head. He looked in the fridge. Slam. Uh-oh. He looked in the toy chest. I found it! Yelled Froggy. And he put it on with a zap and a slap. That helmet was not supposed to be in his toy chest. Froggy! Called his father. Let's go! I'm ready! Yelled Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. You should bring your butterfly now, said his father. I don't know where it is! It's wherever you left it, Froggy. Do you keep losing things too? Froggy doesn't remember where he put some things. So, Froggy looked for his butterfly net. Blup, blup, blup. He looked under the coffee table. Bonk! He looked in the garbage can. Slam! <gasps> he looked in his father's golf bag. I found it! Yelled Froggy. And he swung. It at the fly, swish, but he missed. Uh-oh, 
What did happen when he missed? The picture tells me he knocked over the cup. Froggy! Called his father. Let's go! I'm ready! Yelled Froggy. Blup, blup, blup. How about the ball Grandpa gave you? Asked father. I don't know where it is. It's wherever you left it, Froggy. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I see something. He dropped that cup. So Froggy looked for his ball. Flop, flop, flop. He looked under the stove. Boink! He looked in the cookie jar. Slam! He looked in the bathtub. I found it! He yelled. And he kicked it into the goldfish bowl. Splash! Oh my goodness, that's not where the ball goes. Froggy! Called his father, let's go! I'm ready! Yelled Froggy, blop, blop, blop. Let's bring a bag of peaches. Auntie Lulu gave you, said his father. I don't know where it is. It's where you left it. His ball's all wet. So Froggy looked for his bag of peaches. Blop, blop, blop. He looked under the kitchen table. Bonk! He looked in the closet. Slam! He looked in his bed. I found it! Should peaches be in your bed? And he took a bite. He was getting a little hungry. Look at it. It was under his covers. Froggy! Yelled his father. Let's go! I'm ready! Yelled Froggy. Flop, flop, flop. Daddy, can I bring a pack of trading cards Uncle Gerald gave me? Okay, Froggy, but hurry, let's go. I don't know where it is. It's wherever you left it. Silly Froggy. I hope you put things where you can remember them. Oops, here it is. I found it. It was in my pocket. Can we go now, Daddy? I'm ready. Okay, but do you know where my red backpack is? Asked his father. Daddy, it's wherever you left it. I forgot, Froggy pointed. It's on your back! Froggy laughed. Oops, cried Froggy's father, looking more red in the face than green. Do you know what that means? If his cheeks were turning red, that means he was a little embarrassed. Ready to go? At last, Froggy flopped over to the bicycle. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Look, there they are getting ready. There's his red backpack. Do you know what? Sometimes my friend forgets where her sunglasses are and guess where they are? On her head. <laughs> Let's go, Froggy. I'm hungry, said Froggy. I want to eat now. So they ate their picnic on the patio. Munch, crunch, 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 crunch. Okay, I'm ready, said Froggy. Let's go, said his father. Right in front of the door. Where do you like to have your picnics? In your backyard? At the park? And off they pedaled into the sunset. Do you have a bicycle at home that you can ride? Where do you like to go on your bike rides? And where do you like to have picnics? Do you like to have inside picnics in your living room? Or maybe like under a table, like to build a big fort? Or outside at the park or maybe in your backyard? Can you tell me where you wanna have your picnic? Have a great day.